All right, y'all. B Bridges 100 here. Um, did this video the other day and do it again. We're gonna change my wound dressing. Now, like I said, I did do this video the other day, and it ended up being like I don't know, a little over 11 minutes long, which uh, was uh, a little too long for me to upload, really, because. You know, it would take, if anything's over 10 minutes, it takes me like, uh, no joke, 12 hours to upload. It's ridiculous. Um, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and do this a little bit faster this time. So, uh, my trip to the hospital, uh, if you watch my other videos, you know I cut off a good piece of a uh, tip of uh, my finger, my index finger on my left hand here, and the trip to the hospital was fun, explaining to the nurses and the doctor uh, what happened. It was a little embarrassing, but uh, actually there was one male nurse there. He was uh, older than me. I mean, I'd say he was in his maybe 40s, late 40s, early 50s and uh, he was re he's really big into wood carving and uh, he's really big into wood carving and uh, knife throwing as a hobby so he kinda understood you know how this could have happened he was a pretty cool guy uh, all the other nurses, the female nurses, I was just I gave each one a different story of what happened basically like, oh, I was juggling chainsaws. And uh, then the other one, yeah, the other one's like, oh, yeah, got hit with a ninja star. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Now, real quick, before I finish that story about what I told those nurses, this is a gel foam dressing. Now, I was told that that would absorb in, into the actual wound but I don't know man it's been a couple of days and uh, it's still there I, I'm, I'm not real sure if I'm supposed to remove it the nurse had told me not to touch it but I don't know if she meant over like the first 24 hours if I missed some bit of her instruction I'm, I'm not sure because um, I, I kind of want to clean the wound but at the same time I don't want to open it back up uh, it, it will not stop bleeding this this gel foam is to uh, cause clotting and keep it from bleeding because they were not able to reattach the tip uh, so anyway alright I'm just going to wrap it back up I'll call the doctors today find out but anyway yeah, I was telling the nurses all kinds of different stuff. One nurse was, you know, she came in. Actually, it was the first nurse that came into the room. She said, oh, my God, look at your finger. As if I hadn't looked at my finger. Um, anyway, oh, my God, look at your finger. So I told her, yeah, you should see the other guy. And uh, I realized at that point, I have a real bad habit of joking around when I'm in pain or uncomfortable you know funerals pretty much anywhere where I'm uncomfortable uh, I tend to make jokes and it's not always the most appropriate venue for the jokes but anyway I don't know just a little realization I had not really that important to the story but anyway uh, so the sal the tip was not salvageable tip of uh well tip of the finger obviously was uh was not salvageable so it could not be reattached and I'm doing this without putting gauze you'll notice um I'm not sure what happened to the gauze that I had I actually did have some here my wife also has uh a little injury on her hand I'm thinking she must have used up the last of my gauze which I actually got for this but oh well 
community guys. So anyway, the uh, the nurses definitely they they all pretty much scolded me about the dangers of uh, playing with knives. And then my wife obviously also used quite a bit of this. I don't have enough to actually wrap around my hand like I had to keep it from slipping off. So, oh goodness. I'm all about sharing, but hey, whose injury was worse here? Honestly, she didn't lop off any pieces of herself. Anyway, that's terrible. I sound like a horrible husband complaining about that. Um, yeah, so there it is. <laughs> Freshly dressed. Hopefully that stays on there. All right, guys. Uh, sorry there's not a whole lot of gore. I was kind of hoping I'd have more to show you that that gel foam would be absorbed by now. I'm going to find out from the doctor if it should be. Um, for those of you who want to see the gore and you want to see the uh, the missing tip there, you're over with what's left of my finger. Yeah, I want to see it too, actually. I'm kind of curious as to what it looks like underneath that gel foam. So if the doctor says or the nurse says that I can remove that gel foam, I'll come back and uh, we'll do this again and I'll remove the gel foam. So anyway... Thanks for watching, y'all. Till next time, y'all take it easy.